An exploit has been developed that will allow you to install third-party launchers again, and most importantly, stop Amazon from blocking third-party apps. Now, this was created by two people, and Troy Point has actually already done a full-length video on this. But what I'm going to do is save you a little bit of time, because I know not everybody is going to want to take 30 minutes to an hour to do this exploit and decide whether it was really worth it or not. So instead, I'm gonna walk you through the general steps of what you'll be doing, and then you can decide if you wanna to go to the full video and take your time and do it. I will say though, this apparently blocks all future updates on your Fire Stick. So if you're worried about them potentially stopping you from installing more third-party apps in the future, this could be a major fix. And I know you, like me, want to have control of the device we bought and not have to worry about Amazon changing the rules of the game as they go. Now you will need a separate device for this video to work, and that is either a Windows, a Mac, or a Linux computer. And it can also be done on an Android tablet, and I, I believe a phone as well. So as long as you have one of those other devices, you'll be able to follow this video. So like always, subscribe down below. I go by UG and I try to help people like you save money on streaming services and yes, learn how to optimize their device. Now, I do want to start off by saying before you waste any of your time, Amazon could patch this at any time. So if you look in the comments below and there's a lot of people complaining that this is no longer working, you might not want to do it. I don't know. It just remember it can be patched. It's an exploit. It means Amazon is going to be on it trying to stop it. It's what they do. Now, a few other notes that we have to do. You have to go into your device and depending on your device's version, this isn't going to work. So you want to go to the About section and go to your software version. You can see this is a Fire TV Cube 3, and I have Fire OS 7. So as long as you have Fire OS 7 or 8, this should work. But Fire OS 6 or below, no go. It is not going to work on it. So you need one of those versions. So that means the newer Fire Sticks, the newer Fire TV Cube, this should work perfectly fine on. Now the first step that Troy Point goes over is something most of you have done before, and that is just becoming a developer, where you're gonna go to your device name, click on it seven times until you're a developer, go to developers options, and what you wanna do is turn ADB debugging on. This is a very important first step. Now one other thing he suggests, which I'm gonna blur out in this video, is when you scroll to the network section, you're gonna notice your IP address. Now I've obviously covered mine up with my head here, but you're gonna to wanna to write that down because you're gonna need that to access your Fire TV device from your PC, Android device, whatever you're deciding to do this on. So make sure you have those numbers written down and they are all correct and you also know what Wi-Fi you're on because you're going to need to be on the exact same Wi-Fi on your device as well. Another simple part of this process is installing Downloader and you can go and pre-install a launcher from Troy Point's website or from any other website. So if you have a favorite, whether it's Wolf Launcher or one of the many other ones that have been developed for Android devices, go and install that. Again, this is in his video. Now we are on Troy Point's video here. Again, this is linked down below if you wanna go through the step-by-step -step basis with a little bit more detail. I'm just giving you a brief summary so you can decide if this is something you wanna do. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have Launcher Manager installed. Now this can be found directly on Troy Point's website. The link is right above there. And that's just gonna be needed for a later step. Now after this, you wanna to head to your PC and go to, again, troypoint.com slash his toolbox at the top here. I'm gonna link this down below as well, but go to his full video and watch that through if you want. You can download it on Windows, Mac, or OS. Once it's installed, basically this app is going to allow you to connect to your Fire Stick through your IP address. So in this case, he's added his Fire TV Stick 4K Max. The IP address is there, and you just want to make sure your PC, Mac, whatever you're on, is on the same Wi-Fi as your Fire TV device. You might get this message on your Fire TV device. Just press OK. It's basically just allowing for that connection. So from there, you want to go to console at the bottom here. You're going to want to enter this script right here, and this is what's basically going to allow you to do more on your Fire TV stick. And I'm going to show you in a second what exactly that is. So once that's done, go back and look at that Launcher Manager app that you installed just previously. It should look like this with the gear. And inside, you're going to have three options available to you. The first one right here, which let me move my head here. The first one right here is OTA app disabled. So this is basically going to disable future firmware updates on your Fire Stick. 
This means any of those weird things that Amazon comes out with that nobody really cares about, you know, uh, the extra ads on your home screen or that free TV button that people really love, you're not going to get it anymore. And to be honest, because they're probably winding down Fire TV OS in general with Vega coming out, that's my guess. I could be wrong. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. We're not going to see any crazy new updates. I guess the only concern would be maybe future security patches, whatever. The next one is Amazon's black listing of apps. You can also disable that as well. And the last one is system app protection. So you can disable all three of those if you want, just one, two, whatever you want. Uh, but the app blacklisting is a must so you can get your launcher working. From there, you can just go to custom launcher and you can set it up to the launcher that you installed earlier. In this case, he has the projectivity launcher able to, in this case, he's using the projectivity launcher. And from there, he was literally able to start using his launcher again, just like before. So this seems to be a really great exploit that Amazon is no doubt going to be patching in the near future. So if you want to get this, I suggest following the video down below, but I have a few more notes before you go any further. One question I know people are going to ask is, do I have to use a VPN if I do an exploit like this? And the short answer to that is no, uh, it's not really going to make that big of a difference. But the long answer is, you know, by watching the channel, I do suggest using a VPN because it gives you an extra layer of protection while you're doing any activity online, you might not want your internet service provider to see. So it just gives you that extra area, that extra layer, that's gonna give you just a tiny bit more protection. And like always, I supply one of the best discounts to IPVanish, and it's one of the most trusted VPNs. It's linked right down below. You also support the channel. YouTube's just not paying us as much. So just purchasing a VPN helps give me a little kickback and helps keep this content completely free and coming weekly for you guys. And that's gonna give you over 83% off. And one feature I really love about IPVanish is this brand new eSIM data that they give you. They actually give you three gigabytes of eSIM data with any of their plans, whether you get the year, two year or yearly plan. And this means if you're traveling, if you're abroad, or if you just want some extra data at home, you get a VPN plus you get three gigabytes of data with it. So it's kind of like a win-win. And best of all, if you get the yearly or two year, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So definitely worth checking out. Another thing I want to mention is if you check out his full length video, which is close to 27 minutes, watch it all the way through so you know the steps and then you can follow step by step after that. It just gives you a little bit more confidence while you're doing this. As well, he does include on the second part of the tutorial, so if you want to skip forward, how to do this on an Android based device. So that might make it a little easier for you if you're doing it on your phone or on a tablet or something like that. If you don't necessarily have a Windows computer or a MacBook accessible. And I also want to point out one more time, this is not going to last. I expect Amazon to patch this as soon as possible. I think already 40,000 people have seen Troy Point's video. So if you don't do this within the next week, I imagine you're not going to get a chance to unless they find another exploit. So again, check this out while you can. And like always, subscribe down below before you leave. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want me to do a full length video on how to completely do these steps, let me know and maybe I'll also do that for you. I just thought since Troy Point already has it, it makes sense for me to funnel you guys to his video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.